Getting started with the Claret 2 Pre. In this video, we'll look at connecting and configuring your device. First, you need to plug in the power supply to the back of the unit. Then you need to purchase a Thunderbolt cable. We cannot manufacture a cable as cost-effectively as Apple and others. So, we took the decision not to include a cable for two reasons. To keep the selling cost of the units down, and to allow our users to select a cable length that is appropriate for their particular setup. We recommend Thunderbolt cables by Apple or StarTech, which can be purchased online or from most computer and electrical stores. Plug this into the back of the interface and connect it to your computer's Thunderbolt input. First, we need to load Focusrite Control and update the firmware on the Claret 2 Pre. However, you may not need to update the firmware, so continue on if so. This could take some time, so feel free to pause the video and continue when you're ready. Here, we're connecting an XLR cable and a jack to inputs 1 and 2 on the front of the Claret 2 Pre. I'm adding phantom power with the switch here to input 1, and in Focusrite control, I'm switching air on. The light will display like so. Next, I need to change input 2 to an instrument input, so I click here and the light tells me it's set up. This is a headphone output with independent control. Next, I need to connect my speakers to monitor outputs 1 and 2, like so. Now, we need to connect the 2 Pre to our door software. Click on your software below. Logic Pro X. In Logic, I'm going to click on Logic Pro X, Preferences, Audio, then in Output Device, I'm going to select Focusrite Thunderbolt. Click on Apply Changes, and you're all set up. Cubase. In Cubase, I'm going to click on the Devices menu and select Device Setup. I'll click on VST Audio System, click on the drop-down menu and select Focusrite Thunderbolt. Click on Switch and click on OK. Next, go into the Devices menu and select VST Connections. Remove the existing inputs in this section and click on Add Bus. Now, we need to set up all of our buses, so I'm going to set up 10 here and click on Add Bus. Now in the outputs, remove all outputs here and click on Add Bus. Again, I'm going to set up 10 stereo output buses. Close this window and you're all set up. Pro Tools. In Pro Tools, I'm going to click on Setup. Then I'm going to click on Playback Engine. In the drop-down menu, select Focusrite Thunderbolt. Click on Yes. Click on OK. Next, go into the Setup menu again, I.O. Click on the Input tab and click on Default. Repeat this process for the Output tab and all your inputs and outputs are set up. Ableton Live. Click on Live, select Preferences, and select the Audio tab. In the Audio Input Device menu and Output Device menu, select Focusrite Thunderbolt. Next, click on Input Configuration and click on 3 and 4. In the Output Configuration, click on 3 and 4 Mono and 3 and 4 Stereo. You can change the sample rate of the project here. You're all set up. Click here to watch video 4, Recording Music.